Hello once again. That's No Moon reporting in for duty for another season of 3v3. Now, my thoughts on 3v3, I love 3v3. I think it's such a good little game mode. It's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people don't like it, but after 5v5 last season, it's nice to have a little bit of a break, I'll be honest. And um, yeah, my thoughts on last season were, you know, it was a 12-0, and 0, so it was it was a great season. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it was hard. It was tough. It was a lot of planning. So I'm certainly not going to be going for that again this season. If we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. It's not the end of the world. Kyber's the goal, um, but we'll try and be relatively tryhard, I guess. So, um, but... This one was fairly interesting, actually. We're up against Rhythm Stick, and Rhythm Stick is actually a guildmate of mine, and he forgot to set a defense. So he runs two accounts. He set one on, uh, he set a defense on one of them, and he forgot on this main one. Um, so it's a little bit of a shame because we could have had like a decent match, actually, but. Mm, you know, it is what it is. Um, again, this is going to be the the main majority of people. Auto setting is the very first week on the very first um, fight. So we'll just get through it. Now, compared up to Rhythm Stick, we do have a GL advantage. So I'm going to try and get around that. I'm going to try not or get away with not using um, GL Luke. And that was kind of my plan anyway. It was kind of going to be going in um, with like a straight up fight anyway. So there is some interesting synergies in some of these 3v3 teams, I'll be honest. Um, and uh, changes I've made for 3v3, so I have finally taken the plunge. Kylo is Relicate now. Uh, I hated, hated spending all that gear, but he's pretty good actually. And I've put him a speed set, so he's now like 580 rather than just the offense set, because 3v3 is going to get more turns super, super dangerous as well. So, yeah, um, like this build, it's probably going to be going on defense again. I don't know. Um, essentially, 3v3, I think GLs are a fair trade-off. Um, like taking one hit, they're not great banners, but then nothing is on um, on 3v3 when it comes to GLs. 5v5, it's okay, but 3v3, it's uh, it's pretty horrendous. So, um, but yeah, we're going to try and not use Jello Master Luke here. And that's the whole point of it. You know, I was thinking here, well, do I take a nice and easy one against it? No, we're, we're going to go against it. And actually, Rhythm Stick did really, really well on the offense side of things. He actually cleared... Um, the top two, uh, the top zone, he didn't clear ships because also on an auto set you get uh, malevolence and negotiator set on defense. But he pretty much cleared everything, uh, all bar my Jedi Knight Luke team. Now, Jedi Knight Luke, I have actually changed up the mods on Shaq T on that team, and I've gone Shaq T and Kenobi. Uh, Shaq T is probably about 357, so it's gonna be like it's gonna be ridiculously hard to out try and outrun that. So, um, yeah, I don't. I try not to remod too much between JCs. I just uh, the three that I, I choose four characters basically. So Kylo will get one. He'll usually get the speed set. Um, Basti, her mods will go on to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. I'll dip a little bit. Um, no, that was it. Darth Revan's mods go on Kylo. Basti's go on Darth Revan. Shakti's go on basti and there's another character in there as well somewhere i can't quite remember what it is but um there's only four characters i remod for and again i don't i don't want to be taking this too seriously in honesty um again first week is a little bit easier than the rest but uh but yeah this was a fun little fight in terms of the uh, the actual synergies of it as well and there's some interesting combinations you'll see as the video goes on that um yeah, this fight is is actually fairly tough. It it's quite hard to clear an also set defense, but I kept most of my offense anyway because the plan was going in against rhythm. It was gonna be um, just a, a a stand up, you know, uh, stand and bang. It was gonna be I was gonna try and aim for high banners and just all out offense. This one's pretty rough, you know. Chewbacca guarding Vader, and Vader is fairly quick. Let's try and get some turn meat. We have got tenacity down. Let's try for a stun. I can't quite remember whether under guard they like can't be stunned or whatever it is. I really, really can't remember. Um, but yeah, that got pretty close. <sighs> so uh, and he has a lot of anti-rebel synergy as well. So having a look at this one. Um yeah, thrown in there, 269. So I can fairly outrun that. 
uh, okay, let, I mean, we need to try and go like fairly cheap on this. So a team that I tend to run quite a lot in 3v3 is Geo's on offense, weirdly enough. Uh, Geo Brood Alpha is probably like way too solid to actually keep on offense, but I really, really like the character and I really like what he gets through, like really tough Kylo Ren teams with Spy in there as well. And I tend to go, I've got naturally high enough crit chance on my Spy that I don't really need to lean on them um, uh, soldier that much anyway. So yeah, uh, I think we probably try and get rid of Thrawn here. We may outrun Kylo to get a big hit. Nice, there we go. Let's put the offense up over there. Can we get him first before he... Oh, <laughs> there it is. There go the banners. Woo, there it is. So yeah, big crit hits. I like those big hits because essentially it's just going to be nice and easy taking out those first order. Um, now this one with Geo Brood Alpha, I was thinking Padme, I was thinking Old Republic here, but I was thinking, well, Old Republic, Galactic Republic, they take out a lot of teams and I don't even know what's in the back. I can take an educated guess or I can have a look at his roster, but we're going to have some fun with the Scoundrels. I really like the Scoundrels in 3v3, especially Vet Han, really good byproduct of the Kylo Ren, um, uh, the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren farm. I really like it. Uh, that's annoying. I, I didn't realize. I thought it was only Jedi that come to assist on that one. Let's get that ability block up. And we're stuck behind that and Kenobi at the moment. There's that double tap. Um, but actually, I think probably we we take down Kenobi. Because essentially, we, we won't be able to get through Brood Alpha and uh, Brute before we can take down Kenobi. So I actually think that we go for... Um, that we go for Kenobi here as first point of call. So just the basic in there. Mm, grenades isn't going to do a huge amount. Let's pull back two meter on this guy. Okay, that's like fairly fortunate. Glad he didn't go for BB-8 there. Okay, let's bring him in. Let's get rid of Kenobi. There we go. Let's take down HK. Again, when he's not under a Sith lineup, he's not particularly scary, but uh, or a Sith Empire lineup, he's not particularly scary, but I say that, and then he goes and deletes BB-8. Um, so let's get rid of this guy. But yeah, I like the versatility of this squad, and again, it gives you another option for like Fim Fim Po, uh, which I've actually put on defense in this round. They're, they're like six star and seven star and gear 10 and 11, but I actually really like them, even at that lower gear. They perform so well, as long as you can slap a few like good mods on them. I think they're really good, and I think they're probably one of the best bang for buck uh, investments in the game at that level as well. And they're newer, they're newer farms as well, when it comes to it. They're like double drop shards, so yeah, I, I think as newer players, people should absolutely be going for them. Um, whether they're considering going for a ray or not, I think those are two absolutely amazing characters. Okay, so what's in the back? Uh, there's an, uh, the old Ben. The old Ben lead with Padme and Shaq T. Han, Raid Han on defense. That's a roughie as well, because he's going to shoot first like pretty much every single time. I've used my Rebels as well. Um... Okay, this is going to get a little bit shaky, but <laughs> hmm, we go. Yeah, and I guess I guess this is probably a pretty good time to sort of chat as well a little bit about the channel. Um, you guys have absolutely been killing it, absolutely overwhelmed with the support. Um, I will be making a separate video fairly shortly about uh, the channel, what direction it's going in, etc. Um, but the amount of people, the amount of new people who've started watching the videos, um, the videos that I do, these Grand Arena ones, these weirdly take up the, the most time and they're probably the worst videos on the channel rather than either speculation or um, like just discussing tactics in the game, I guess. Um, but I kind of like doing them. I kind of like going behind the strategy of them. And I think hopefully you guys can sort of learn a little bit. So I will try and bring as many Grand Arenas uh, this season as I can. I don't know whether it will be all of them or whether it will just be some of them. So um, we'll see how it goes. And I'm actually back to work full time in um, in two weeks. That's when uh, in the UK, the lockdown is uh, is pretty much lifted again on retail shops. So um, I'm back into uh, back into work in two weeks' time. So hopefully I'll try and bring as much content as I can going forward. Um, it does seem like you guys are enjoying it, and you know are 
certainly do it if you guys are enjoying it you know not going to argue with that at all but um but yeah just a little a little thing you know for uh, a thank you for everyone we're, we're very very quickly heading towards 1500 subs um the discord server is also uh filling up nicely as well with people coming over it tends to be a lot of the newer players but um you know, asking simple questions and things like that. But if you do want to chat more Star Wars Galaxy Heroes or you enjoy the videos again, feel free to pop over on the Discord server. It's a pretty chill place. There's people on sort of 24 hours a day. So, you know, whether it's Star Wars or whether it's something else like Marvel, um, I know I'm quite into as well. The new series, WandaVision, Falcon, you know, we chat about that as well. Um, or rather, you know, I tend to chat about that. But um, but yeah, if you do want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome. Um, now, this is an interesting little team. I thought, oh my God, I've hidden R2 so badly there. Wow, absolute misclick city centre coming right up. This is actually a tough team. So we've got the taunt. Basti is going to like absolutely nerf them. Um, but let's see if we can get through this. So that's a nice start. Then we've got Fear on and Corrupted Battle Meditation. C3PO is tanking for us at the moment. I'd rather it be R2. Uh, but there we go. We've got a nice blind out there. Uh, whoops, didn't see Corrupted Battle Meditation, so we can't apply debuffs while that's on. I know we won't get a crit hit here, but I've got two exposes out there, so I want to make sure uh, I hit both of those. Ooh, C-3PO is really good tank, actually. Let's be honest. He's at, he's like thicker than old Ben here. He's currently performing better than, uh, than Fives. Okay, here we go. More Corrupted Battle Meditation. More fear coming out. Uh, oh, God, this is going south pretty quickly, actually. Yeesh, I wasn't expecting this much resistance. Right, let's see if we can take out fives here. Got an expose there. Nice. More Corrupted. Ugh, this is absolutely killing us. Okay, there we go. See, I tried to like rush to Basti, and it, I should have just gone for fives. Uh, let's see if we can get her. Let's put a. Yeah, she actually. Yeah, as I was saying in one of the last ones, blind going on her. It's actually. Um, uh, it's actually. Yeah, going on. Uh, she can actually hit through blind with. She can apply all the debuffs, so she can apply her, sp her special basically, where it adds fear and everything, and she can also hit with shock. Um, she misses on a basic, but a little tip for you: if she is blinded, or you are doing that counter versus rebels, then um, she can still hit through it with shock. There we go. So finally got there. Forty-nine banners. Yeesh. Wowza. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess probably the toughest team here now is that Luke team definitely Malak at relic level seven as well I think it is that's going to be tough as well Jedi Knight Luke 130 speed on there kudos for that that's like lovely that's the way to play it um I'm too lazy to remod mine but if you're if you're like being a bit of a, a meta like sweat lord as they say again this is how you're going to do it that's how it's um that's how it's done you know you strip all speed especially on 3v3 and it's a really interesting lineup. Um, I was thinking about Thrawn, and then I was thinking about what as well. So what I want to kind of do is get that weapons tech out there. We've got Revan there, so he's going to proc a savior. But I'm thinking if I get the, um, if I get the, yeah, here I'm just deciding between the two. But if I can get that weapons tech out there on uh, on Vader, and I could get rid of Luke to start with, then that makes my life a whole lot easier. So that's the plan for this one. And this would be basically the tactics for a normal Jedi. But weirdly, they are like a, a rough squad as well. Gideon outruns them. So that's how I, I got through that one. Demoralize is also fantastic with Jedi Knight Luke. He's still going to hit like a truck. But um, little misplay there. Should have hovered over Luke for that one. We have got four debuffs. So let's go. What do you mean Saviour brings him back? And because he proc Saviour, he gets a turn as well. Thank God I'm in Merciless. Eesh. This is going to get ropey. This is going to get ropey as well. Now, let me turn my Discord uh, down. Sorry, I didn't realise that was on. Um, yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. This is ropey. But we've got some decent dots now on. Uh, if four can kill him off, then eight can. I just need a turn. Uh, forget Merciless. We're going in. We're going in. Yeesh. That gave me a heart attack, that battle. Honestly, that was that was a tough lineup. I'll be honest. 
But yes, someone in comments, tell me why weapons tech doesn't like supersede Saviour. Um, it was my understanding that, you know, when you put a weapons tech on there, then they ain't going to be coming back. But obviously not. Again, welcome to chat teaches Moon how to play this game. He's been playing for five years, honestly. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Uh, this one I think is fine. General Skywalker, I think he's still... I don't think he can be stunned. Um, and I think he can, because I couldn't quite remember. But he is, like, stunned, but he's not stunned. Uh, I think it's to do with his bonuses. Again, you can tell me how it works. But I, this was a bit of testing. I was pretty sure that Han couldn't actually stun him. So... Um, so yeah, it is right. I was going to bring in a second as well, but uh, again, it answers that question. So a little bit of testing there as well. But yeah, that's a nice one. Um, do like that. Yeah, Rhythm, this is the point where I realised that he's going to have negotiate and malevolence in the background. So uh, I don't like him in any way, let alone with uh, with washed up <laughs> with washed up lineups. Old Ben, you say. Uh, so we got this one, which is fairly interesting. The Ray and Kylo, I'm not really too bothered. The Kylo and Malik combo, I don't like. Um, Ray is neither here nor there. Um, okay, wow, I actually turned my Discord notifications down to one and it's still coming through. So a one volume out of 100, that is. So talking to Malik solos, uh, it wouldn't be a 3v3 without a Malik solo. Uh, I might have... Oh my God, this guy... Double dodge to start the fight. I think I could be in real trouble here. I'll be honest. And I think, honestly, here, the... Yeah, got to get that shock on him. He's going to continue to taunt. I think maybe I can get to Padme quick enough. But then after this, I realised that actually... Like, old Ben Lead, he is just going to taunt. And I'm... Shakti's going to heal up. Padme's going to heal up too much. So um, I do just need to take out Old Ben first and foremost. Okay, let's chip down. And yeah, these videos, the 3v3s, they tend to be a little bit longer. But weirdly, the fights are, you know, there's more fights, obviously. Um, but let me know how you guys got on in your first round. And also, here's a request for you. I am looking for uh, what you guys, so what followers, you know, every channel has, um, I don't want to name any, but, you know, they have like their group of supporters. So let me know in the comments if you do, or in Discord, um, if you, you know, if you do want to become whatever it is um so we're looking for things to call the followers uh, of the channel as well you know so when someone joins or joins a discord or they become you know um let's say for example scribe you know he's got the scribe tribe um so yeah you know looking to add little fun things in on the channel as well so if you have any ideas pop them in here or in discord as well and i think it would just be a nice little fun thing as well but yeah, 3v3, I'm not going to sweat it too much this season, but I tend to do quite well in 3v3, annoyingly. So I kind of always get sucked in by like fight number three or four, and then suddenly it's full on. Okay, we're going for a 12-0 and again. So last 3v3, I finished 10-2, 10 wins, two losses. So um, so yeah, it's, um, it is um it is actually pretty fun, and I kind of am coming away from that, you know, just being like winning or losing is the only thing that matters honestly so um so yeah right i do want to try it and again i do want to try a lot of testing in 3v3 there's a lot of teams that i've got up since last season so uh they're going to be pushed to the limits troopers aren't particularly good but moff gideon like there um in the video i don't feel like i did him a huge amount of justice because a lot of people after I did the video, either commented or DM'd or whatever it was, and they said, you know, here's how I use my Gideon. And, you know, actually, I think the character is absolutely fantastic. Don't get me wrong, and I don't want that coming across, that the cat, this guy isn't fantastic. Um, what I was trying to say, essentially, was, like, he is a heavy investment. His gear up to about gear level 10 or 11 is fantastic. Um, it's, like, it's not hard at all. He's, you can farm him on... Um, cantina 10 energy so i think that is incredible that's one of the best deals that we've had for a long long time but um as to whether as a newer player or mid-game player you need to get him to 13 i don't think so um but as an end game player absolutely 
I think the speed is an absolute must. I found that he was very versatile in that fight as well, being able to strip turn meter off a quicker, so like my Darth Vader wouldn't have gone quicker than let's say their uh, CLS or whatever. That was a perfect example of plug and play, and I think it will be very situational. And without having extensive knowledge of the character, I think that it's um, it's hugely hard to make a judgment. And I think probably the onus comes down to, well, definitely the onus comes down to myself of not knowing this character um, like well enough, or not having tested him, or whatever it was. But it, you know, it's it, essentially it's. Um, it's a fantastic character. I'm really happy with the upgrade um, to Gear 13. But what I was trying to get across was the guy will do an absolutely solid job at Gear 11. Um, you know, you don't really have to worry that much about getting him straight to Gear 13. I think there's much better choices for Gear 13. Um, and yeah, this one's now looking a little bit shaky. Again, it is a Relic 7 um, Darth Malak. Darth Malak, short of a GL, is one of the toughest characters in the game, honestly. We got the healing immunity there, but... Mm, okay, healing immunity, nice. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so 3v3. It's a tough fight. It is a tough, tough fight. And I guess we probably got stuck behind um, behind crew for too long. Those taunts, again, are, are going to be absolutely killer. Yeah, taunts, a lot of fears as well. So, um, so yeah, I think with this one now, 5v5, I really like, um, I really like this counter that I'm going to show off next. Um, but... Let's see if it uh, it still is as valid in 3v3. So I'm talking about Bounty Hunters. And again, Bounty Hunters against Malik in 5v5 is my absolute go-to cleanup. Um, unless he's like half health. And again, Savage can be pretty good with that. Uh, okay, so let's go on in. And yeah, I, I, you know, I genuinely try and make these videos as short as possible. But this one, 33 minutes, you know, uh, 3v3s are longer. So I do try and cut it down as much as I can. So, yeah. Uh, so apologies for the length of the video, I guess. But if you like watching the videos, I guess you're in for a treat. So, yeah. Um, troopers, we've got a feat for troopers. We may as well try it. You know, Via's death trooper, shore trooper is absolutely stacked to the hilt with um, protection. He's going to be taunting. Okay, let's reduce cooldowns. But saying that, reducing cooldowns, uh, when he gets to his stack, he's going to take that away anyway. Uh, nice, we got a stun. But we also got a fear. Oh, God, he knows who to target. He knows who to target. Oh, my God, they, they're just not doing anything. They They absolutely need five to be working. He knows who to target, and the AI knows exactly how to play this. Yep, this one is, that's all she wrote. Uh, no joy with that one, but I thought I would give it a little try anyway, just to see the potential. Um, again, Gideon may have been better in there as well, but he had a better place. And I think, you know, in a few months' time, because there isn't a huge amount of Gideons at Gear 13, honestly, I think in a few months' time we'll look back and we'll go, this guy will be a bit of a game changer. And, I, you know, I genuinely think that um, that he's going to have a huge amount of use, um, both in 5v5 and 3v3 as well. 3v3 is going to be a little bit more limited, but in 5v5, I mean, yeah, this guy is, the, the guy is incredible. The kit is just so good. Okay, let's go big rocket, get that healing immunity. That's all good check marks there. Mm, max health down. Yes, we got a max health down there. Uh, double tap. Yep, nice and no crit. But, I mean, he is just tanky as they come. We've got a stun in there, but he's going to take his next turn now. Max health down. Nice, got another one. And it's just a case of chipping away. See if we can get a stun. Nope. See if we can get a big hit. And I can't, I couldn't at this point, I couldn't quite remember whether, but I think uh, looking back at this, 
I'm pretty sure that max health down is only if they're suffering from a debuff, but I can't quite remember. It's a big hit here. Uh, okay, we're still in we're still in pretty good shape, but he just heals so so quickly. Yeah, max health down. So I think it is a. I will double check that in the kit, but I think that is if he is suffering a debuff. But you can see that he's still got so much max health. You know, we've put three max health down. Uh, we got the tenacity there, tenacity down. Mm, can we get stun? Yes, we can. But he came out of it annoyingly. So should have gone max health down there again. And yeah, just chip away, I guess. Some nice hits, but fear over there. Can we get a stun? Nope. So 5v5, this is this is super reliable, but 3v3, this is tough going. I did get a healing immunity. You see how little damage they're doing at the moment? It's gonna max health down. No, I think he resisted that one. So it's not guaranteed. It is a potency tenacity check. Uh got a stagger, which is useful, but I think he's too quick and just too tanky. So, you know, I know when I'm beat on this. Let's put it this way. But we'll we'll still continue. See if we see how far we can get him down. Um, but Malik's a, a, a legit problem characters um, at any level of the game. Short of sort of, short of a GL on defense, this guy is so good. When it's only three v three as well, it becomes even harder. There are only a select amount of teams that beat him anyway, so it is tough. You know. All right, there we go. I mean, we're, we're chipping away. We're doing all right. Hmm. But it just takes so long to get him down. And when he gets a drain or like full up there, it's almost impossible, you know. And without getting enough max health down, yeah. This was a tall order, but felt, you know, obviously it's a perfect place to test anyway. Okay, there we go. We've got a healing immunity. And that's what you need. You just need constant like healing immunities. This one is quick as well. So yeah, there goes Bask. Job done. We're, we're done on that one. Okay, so but we are going to not try and use Jedi Knight Luke, as I said, the um, or Jedi Master Luke. The plan was to not use this guy against this guy because rhythm has only got one gl he's very very close to getting his jedi master luke as well and as you saw he had his um his supreme leader kylo ren so we're going to try and do it a fair fight anyway and um and at least do the honor uh the honorable thing of not using that gl anyway against the guild mate so we'll try and have some fun with it should be okay e tough character tough tough character i'm just annoyed that i use it so much for offense i think it's so versatile in 3v3s but my god it's such a good defensive character so good my god he oh god there goes hk but the shock is brilliant for healing immunity basically Whew, 19 banners ah it, it what can you do, you know? <laughs> okay, and ships, we have got a little bit of a mix match. Yeah, we do. Eesh, yeah. But, you know, an auto set is an auto set, you know, so. Uh... Yep, let's take in. I think only four here is absolutely fine. I don't think we need any more than this, honestly. But yeah, ships, ships is getting there, you know, man. The um, ship-wise, we've been doing okay. We've been doing some pretty good upgrades and some pretty good work in the background for ships. As I said, a lot of the times I, I feel like I'm much stronger on the ground. And again, there's um, the ship's part. You know, if I meet someone else who is who is good on the ground, then ship's part is going to, you know, that's going to cost me. A little bit of a misplay there. Probably shouldn't have put the buzz droids out there because he had retribution. Ahsoka was coming up. So, um, yeah, that was definitely a misplay on my part. But with the stun, we can now reapply them. Let's get spy and see who we can target. Um, 
yeah, I'll trade that off. I was actually hoping for Ahsoka because she's probably one of the most annoying ones. So let's start chipping away while he's stunned. Nice, putting in some big work, God's work there. There we go. Um, yeah, probably switch over to Slave One. I don't want to eat a huge amount of counters from Ahsoka, but that's gone now. Uh, okay, let's finish off Slave One. Cool, and here we go. And yeah, also looking at the possibility of in the future, um, possibly live streaming a few of these just to, you know, interact with you guys better as well, because I think, you know, live streaming is great. It won't be all the time um, just due to the situation that I'm in. But um, but yeah, I think it would be quite fun, even if it's like a hangout or, uh, you know, you, you want to you guys want to come in, talk about topics or um, whatever it is that you want to talk about. I think it would be pretty cool as well. Yeah, come on, this is this is going on too long now. There we go. Job Whew. done. That was the tough one. That was the negotiator. And let's finish it off with Galactic Republic. So how's the pool looking so far? Well, the pool is looking okay. Um, genuinely, annoyingly, I I feel like I've got a good chance of going three and zero in this, but. As I said, I uh, you know I'm back to work in two weeks' time, so you know it is what it is. I'm trying to get to the point where you know I'm just trying to bring you some interesting fights as opposed to always trying to win. And you know we'll we'll see how it goes. But as I said, probably by about week three or four, um, sorry, fight three or four, it will slowly go back into uh, you know could probably probably win this one, you know. But um, but yeah. Probably what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to have more fun with these grand arenas as opposed to uh, as opposed to like sweat about it. Okay, there we go. He should be gone. Ah, oh, yeah, Millennium Falcon. That's an annoying one because I've basically got to outrun his malevolence taking turns and get through the Vulture Droids because I can't target it. Here comes Palp. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can take out Palp. That was a pretty big hit. Pretty big hit. There we go. Let's deal with him. He's dealt with. And unfortunately, while they've got reinforcements on the bench, uh, it's going to slow down everything as well. Mm, but BTL's doing all right. He's probably about 44 shards out of 100. So excited to get him done. And I was actually thinking of doing a video um, come the next light side territory battles with, um, you know, using obviously teams and in day one so day one i'm pretty au fait with and in day one trying to do max waves with min remods because essentially i feel that the biggest problem is um people just get bored of it and they don't want to remod so trying to simplify the process and boil it down so there we go that's that one in the books and it was 26 12 so awful banners but a nice little warm-up so i'll leave you with that one thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time cheers guys